guys so today i have another timu haul and it is crafting items um those of you may know that watch my timu hauls regularly i do crafting hauls one week and then the next week i do random so today is the crafting haul week so there's like a whole bunch of stuff for that I use for my business and stuff like that. All right, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, all of the links will be in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is a link that you can click on in my description box, sign up and get 30% off your first order. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I make, my Poshmark link will be in the description box down below as well. And if you want anything that you see mold wise in this haul or just in general from any of the hauls that you've seen or whatever, any of the molds that you've seen, feel free to contact me. My email and my Instagram are both in the description box down below of this video and pretty much every video. Um, so just reach out to me, send me an email, DM me on Instagram, whichever is easier for you, and let me know what you want and I'll make it for you and then you can buy it. But anyways, <laughs> let's get into this haul. I have 20 items. So the first one is some vinyl. This is um, heat transfer vinyl. It doesn't say how long it is, um, but it is purple and there's about that much. So it's 12 inches this way. And I think this might be either three feet or five feet. I'm not sure, but yeah, just another purple. And this was $3 and 38 cents. Then I've got this. Okay. This was a dollar 88. I've needed one of these just for easier cleanup in my work area. Because right now I just have like a plastic bag kind of thing down and the resin doesn't really come off of that easily. Um, so there's like bumps all over it. So this will be easier for me to do my resin projects on and then I can just peel off the resin after it hardens and start my next project um and this was a did i say it was a dollar 88 but it's about this big and i think i ordered um i did order another one and i think it was a little bit bigger than this one and i think it was in blue but um i definitely need a whole bunch of these silicone mats because they are very easy to clean and they're nice to be able to do my res resin projects on and have it stay level and not have a whole bunch of resin gunk everywhere. All right, next up, I'm just gonna dump this. Next up, I have some of these. Ooh, okay. These were 97 cents. I have these in like a, what is it, a khaki, khaki color, brown but I bought them in black and they are little cat earring cards. Is that what you call them? Earring cards. Um, you just stick your earrings through here and like a pair of earrings for displaying and sending and all that stuff. So yeah. Next up. Okay. So those Pennsylvania keychains and that Pennsylvania keychain mold that I bought was not actually Pennsylvania. I believe it was like Michigan or Maine or something, Kansas. It was Kansas. Um, they are kind of very similarly shaped and it was probably a late night thing where I was ordering things thinking I ordered the Pennsylvania keychain but I ordered Michigan some or Kansas somehow. I didn't even know I had Kansas in my cart. I think it was just adding random states at that point. 
So I thought I was ordering Pennsylvania, made all these keychains thinking they were Pennsylvania and they're Kansas. So, um, it does say, um, something about potholes. I don't know, but anyway, someone who lives in Kansas was like, oh, you're right about the potholes. So I just left them up and I changed the state name on my Poshmark. But now I actually have Pennsylvania. Um, and instead of in the corner, the hole is in the middle, but I will be making some Pennsylvania keychains as well as the um, Kansas, I guess. So um, if you want a Kansas keychain, they're in my Poshmark. I have two of them. Um, but if you want a Pennsylvania one, let me know. All right, moving on to a pack of stickers. So these stickers I always give away um, as like a, a free gift kind of thing in all of my Poshmark boxes. So um, I've been ordering just different packs of stickers because I'm not running out, but I'm about halfway down in my sticker collections for um, my Poshmark boxes. So this one, I just ordered a bunch of dragons. I'm not going to show you them all, but I'll show you a few. I don't really, um, put the same kind of stickers in every box. I just kind of, um, pull out stickers. I put four in each and I just kind of, um, alternate between what I give. But I never give two of the same pack in any box. So they're all, they'll all be different when you get them. Next up is some sequins, glitter sequins. So this was 71 cents and they are just cute yellow or orange butterflies. So I believe I have blue butterflies, purple butterflies and pink butterflies. And now I have orange. So next up, I have an alcohol ink, and it says transparent pigment in coral, and this was $1.18, so I used these to um, color my resin, and I don't believe I told you the price of these were $0.79, cents, by the way, the stickers. Next up, I ordered these by mistake. These were $1.29. I thought they were pressed flowers. They were not. They are stickers. So I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but I will use them for something, maybe a cup, maybe a project. I have no clue. So there's all these flowers. And then there's mason jars that you can like make floral arrangements in, I'm guessing. I have no idea, but, um, yeah, this was totally an accident purchase. So make sure when you make purchases on Timu to read the descriptions because I didn't. Cause when I went back to read the descriptions, it clearly said stickers. So that was on me. I did not get a refund or nothing. I'll figure out something to do with those. All right, up next, this was a dollar seven and I can't get it open, but these are little, not beads. They're little like round bubble shaped things. They're supposed to be like little tiny bubbles and I thought this would be neat um, just as a design on some things that I make. I have no idea what yet. I didn't know they were gonna be this tiny and I thought they were gonna be all different shapes, but they're not, but that's okay. Um, I will still figure out, there's a truck that just went by. <laughs> I will figure out something um, to use those for. Next up, this was nine cents. This was from one of those nine cent 
order thingies. But these are little eyeshadow brush thingies like that they have in those little palettes that you buy at like drugstores. But I bought these for mica powders to try to like brush them into the bottoms of some of my molds to make like cool colors and designs and stuff like that. So I'll try these out. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but I have hope. <laughs> All right, next up, oh, yes. Okay, these were 68 cents. There's a pack of three. I'm actually giving one to my friend Jess. These are little rings that you put on your finger and you use them to like open jump rings and stuff. It's to help you with like the jewelry making part. Um, and I make a lot of resin jewelry. And I use jump rings constantly for jewelry and keychains and whatnot. So this is definitely going to come in handy. And three of them for 68 cents. I was really happy about that. All right. Next up, I have um, bags. There are 100 of them. And these were $2.98 for 100. And they're this size cellophane bags. And I bought these for some of my bigger projects to kind of, um, to bag up and be able to, um, not just have them floating around in my boxes. And, um, sometimes those little cellophane bags I have are just not big enough. So these are for the, like, the, some of the bigger things that I have, like my self-defense keychains are hard to fit, won't fit in the smaller bags and stuff like that so next up this was 31 cents and I actually opened it which is why it's like kind of crumpled up in here my son stole my measuring tape and I didn't realize it because I was like um it's not where I put it and then I went in his room today and I found it laying on the floor and I was like oh that's where it was but I needed this to measure um, some keychains for my Poshmark. But yeah, I use these to measure things, to give measurements on things for my Poshmark. I use these to um, measure vinyl. I use these to measure um, across for how big to make logos on t-shirts, um, for how big to make decals on the epoxy things I make. So I use this pretty much on the daily. I use these. So I bought another one because I, um, I use one for my Cricut and I use one to measure out, um, to give measurements on my Poshmark. So I wanted one for my bedroom and one for my vinyl bag. So that's why I bought another one. I might buy a few more just to have backups and extras, but yeah. All right, next up, this is the last non-epoxy mold thing. I was saving the molds for last. So this was $4.48. There are 50 of them in here. And they are tassels. I use these on a lot of my keychains now. I use them on my Willy keychains. I use them on my Booty Heart keychains. I used it on one of my keychains that's um, the Deathly Hollow symbol. And they're just like fake leather, obviously it's fake, um, but they're just leather keychains that are colored. Um, yeah, and I believe they all have gold. Yeah, they all have like this fake gold metal cap on them, but they're all different colors and I needed more of those because I was running low. And once I run, like once I get maybe, two thirds of the way down on this I'm going to order another one because I use them a lot next up this was 71 cents and I'm actually going to show you a picture of this because it's really hard to see um but it's a little skull mold that I'm going to make into keychains and this is what it looks like when it's out of the mold I'm going to put it right there but yeah, this is what the mold looks like. 
So yeah, I'm excited to make those. Next up, this was $1.78. And these are for pet tags. And they're in three different sizes for little dogs, medium dogs, and big dogs. Um, so let me know if you would like pet tags for your pets. I will gladly make them and personalize them for you. I can put the name on them and maybe on the back, put your phone number so that if your dog gets lost, um, people know how to contact you. Next up, this was $1.79. So it's hard to envision what this looks like. But this is, um, it actually goes in this way. You fill it up through here. But this is a um, jewelry mold. It's like a jewelry holder. You put rings on the little thing that sticks up in the middle. And then on the inside, you put all of your jewelry. Like your necklaces and bracelets or whatever you want. But um, I'm going to show you what it looks like out of the mold. This is going to be one of those, oh, it doesn't go all the way down either. It only goes down to here. So if you see up here, it's ridge, it's ribbed. It has like ridges all through there and it goes down to right here. And then it has that like scalloped look around the outside. I think that's so pretty. I'm excited to use that one. And it doesn't look like it would take all that much resin either. So that's a bonus. Next up, this was $2.71. And I'm excited about this. This is ring boxes. Well, not actually, but they're like ring holders. So it would be this way. Like you would have, you would put your ring in here. So like, say you just have a regular ring, you would use the one slot or if you have a wedding set you would put um your band here your engagement there kind of deal so these are all one slots at the top and then the same shape there's all two slots so let me know if you would like a resin ring holder for your rings and last last no, not last. Okay, I'm going to do that one last. This one I'm going to do next. This is $1.52. And I thought this was so cute. They're little barbed wire heart earrings. So they'll be dangle earrings. But how cute are those? Um, This week, well, this week that I'm filming, this video is going to come out in like August. But I'm filming in the middle of June right now. <laughs> so this week, meaning the middle of June, I'm going to be making some of these. So there will already be some of these probably up on my Poshmark if you would like them. But yeah, let me know if you want custom ones. And last, I'm a little nervous about this mold because it is so soft. This is four, this was $4.94. But look how like gummy that is, how soft that is. But, and then look at the inside. That's the little hole it has to go through and I have to really stretch to get it out. <laughs> it is Groot. Groot from the Avengers, from Marvel. And he's going like this. Can you see him? I'll put a picture of what he looks like out of the mold. I'm pretty sure this is a candle mold or something like that. But I wanted to make little Groots. So if you want Groot, let me know because I'm going to be really excited to make him. I really want to see if I can get the colors right. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> I will have already attempted most likely before this video comes out and yeah but I'm excited I'm excited and I hope that the resin doesn't ruin this mold and I don't end up with just a mess but yeah little groups <laughs> but that was the last thing and that's everything 
And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, all of my links, all of the links to these items are in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there's a link that you can click on, sign up and get 30% off your first order. And also my Poshmark link is in the description box down below. If you would like to buy any of the things that I make, as well as my email and my Instagram if you would like a custom order. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.